These super efficient buses will help us long into the future. But that isn't the case. Those buses have actually been racking up repair costs. Proterra, the company that manufactured the 60 buses Edmonton ordered, filed for bankruptcy protection in the U.S. this summer. And a document filed as part of that case shows the city has had numerous problems with the vehicles, from battery life to software. From what I gathered this morning, there was only 16 of the Proterra buses that were able to go on the road this morning. The rest of them are broken down. And for the most part, they're waiting for parts. And it takes a long time to get the parts for them. Uh, we've had some that have been down for over a year waiting for parts. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. There are six active servicemen, and I'll use them till I die. They are who, what, when, how where and why i learned that during a business development seminar some years ago but it would seem today's current crop of leadership lacks sensible critical business thinking that will ultimately affect the very people they are appointed to serve now in 2016 the city of edmonton alberta embarked on an ambitious journey to revolutionize its public transit system faced with the promise of a cleaner greener future city officials eagerly embrace electric bus technology heralding it as the next frontier in sustainable transportation but little did they know that their bold gamble will ultimately lead to financial ruin and public outcry but before we get into it if you're new to the channel please subscribe to get notification and if you're like the commentary smash that like button while you're watching now let's get into this Three years ago, former Mayor Don Iveson said the city's newly purchased electric buses would save the city money. These super efficient buses will help us long into the future. But that isn't the case. Those buses have actually been racking up repair costs. Proterra, the company that manufactured the 60 buses Edmonton ordered, filed for bankruptcy protection in the U.S. this summer. And a document filed as part of that case shows the city has had numerous problems with the vehicles, from battery life to software. From what I gathered this morning, there was only 16 of the Proterra buses that were able to go on the road this morning. The rest of them are broken down. And for the most part, they're waiting for parts. And it takes a long time to get the parts for them. Uh, we've had some that have been down for over a year waiting for parts. Drivers have complained to the union. A small person or a big person has a lot of trouble driving it. They, they just don't fit in that cab. The city is seeking more than $1 million in these bankruptcy proceedings, plus assurances that its contracts will be honored. In a statement, a city spokesperson says the city will take all necessary steps to preserve its rights. Proterra didn't respond to a request for comment. Experts say this news is concerning, but it doesn't mean the electric bus industry as a whole is in trouble. When it comes to zero emission buses and, and trucks, the sort of sales globally, I think excluding China, uh, have tripled in the past five years. So we're seeing about an annual growth of, of about 33%. And the good news for Edmonton is batteries should keep getting better. There's an enormous amount of money being poured into battery technologies. So it will get there. I, th I think electric buses will be part of our future, whether it's these buses or other buses, I don't know, but yeah, they'll play a part for sure. Also playing a role, hydrogen buses, which produce no exhaust pipe emissions. Edmonton is currently testing one hydrogen bus with plans to adapt two diesel buses to use the emerging fuel. Madeline Cummings, CBC News, Edmonton. Now I'm going to go back a little for you to understand exactly what happened. Now in 2016, Edmonton's city councillors voted to invest millions of dollars in electric buses, believing they represented the future of public transportation. The decision was hailed as a bold move towards reducing greenhouse gas emissions and combating climate change. With high hopes of lofty expectations, the city sent, entered into contracts with electric bus manufacturers eager to showcase their commitment to environmental stewardship. Today, Canada is in a position to raise our climate ambition once again. Our new climate target for 2030 
is to reduce our 2005 emission levels by 40 to 45 percent. Now, as the first electric buses rolled onto Edmonton streets, problems quickly emerged. The vehicle suffered from frequent breakdowns, range limitations, and charging infrastructure issue. And despite the city's best efforts to address these challenges, the reliability of the performance of the electric buses fell short of expectations, like what you saw in the previous video. Now, transit managers warned of the risk of adopting unproven technology, but their concerns were overshadowed by the allure of going green. How dare you! By 2021, Edmonton found itself mirrored in financial quagmire, and the electric buses touted as a cost-effective solution had become a drain on the city's coffers. Maintenance costs soared, and the promised savings failed to materialize. Now, to make matters worse, the city's legal battle with the electric bus manufacturer escalated with claims against the company ballooning to over $82 million. Taxpayers were left footing the bill for a failed experiment in green transit. The saga of Edmonton's electric buses serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of rushing into untested technologies. What began as a noble endeavor to embrace sustainability ended in disappointment and financial hardship. As cities around the world grapple with the transition to electric transportation, Edmonton's experience serves as a sobering reminder of the need for careful planning, rigorous testing, and prudent decision-making. Ultimately, the road to a greener future is paved with good intentions, but it's essential to proceed with caution to avoid costly mistakes. And with all the data, research, and analysis available by the click or a swipe, our leaders continue to make very bad decisions while draining our coffers and putting people out of work. What else can you add? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. Please mash that like button on your way out. It will only take you 1.5 seconds to do so. Until next time.